we've always been artists and we've always been those kids that are always trying to discover things, adventurers, we, we go out and create things. The nicest thing about growing up where we, we grew up was um, it was a, an environment where people had to solve problems creatively. That environment actually influenced us a lot more to do art. Beauty is, is, is all around us. You just need to look at it. You know? just need to see, see it. You just need to pay attention and just stop and just see it. There's positive and negative in, in life and I see a different you chooses to look at the positive. We look at the positive in a way that our content, uh, we make it from wanting to give our youth something to aspire to. I see a different you to us is not just a blog or Facebook. It's a movement that changes people's perspectives about Africa. For people who don't stay in Africa and the Africans who live in it. Because most of the time, you know, we've been showed so much of these negative things of Africa in photographs and pictures and documentaries, so we ended up believing it ourselves. It's not just about a nice image, it must say something. It must it must it, it must it must show you a soul, you know. We were tired of like, you know, seeing our stories told in a, in a way in which we did not understand. Because most of the time, all the pictures or the stories that were told about us were from people among us, they're not even from South Africa, let alone so wait. So I wanted to get someone to come in and tell you how you live, this is how a person lives, this is what a person does. I don't think that's true. So we, we decided to tell that story from our eyes, the people who stay here. So we started taking pictures in Pimville. You know, then we realized that Pimville is not big enough for, for the movement they were doing. And then we started to move to Ezola, Deep Proof. That's where we also started to realize how much people are actually starting to understand and to relate to the project that we were doing. Because they saw their, their hometown or the castle were very different. Yeah. Hence the ICA different. As time went by, we, we noticed people sending us emails about like, you know, how they're liking the work. It, it felt rewarding for people to recognize what we were talking about in our work. The movement that we've started, you know, that we, we believe in, has moved from Soweto to Josie to Venda and now moving out of South Africa. And that's when like an amazing email as well came to have an exhibition in Japan. The exhibition in Japan was one of the biggest things I, I think for us. We're showing people in Japan the beauty of Africa. They were interested in seeing the beauty of Africa. I hope not enough. えっと、に僕自身はちょっと感じている部分があって、まあそういう面で見て、まあその南アフリカの今のクリエーションっていうものを。For us, when we when we got there and our images were printed big and there were so many people there at the exhibition, for us, it was a mind twister. I, I couldn't believe that. 
actually this is us and there's so much people so many influential people from japan loving us wanting to know what we do and understand our concept and they were buying our images and that that was the most amazing feeling in the world because yeah. we had never seen our images printed and we we going to have an exhibition in Japan and then there we are and you realize that we've never had an exhibition <laughs> we've never thought of having an exhibition and now we're yeah. having it in Japan yeah. I see a different view of Diesel Art Gallery. I was doing an exhibition, but in Japan, I don't know if it's a country of exhibition or a country of exhibition. I think it's a very difficult to hear in my ears. It's not a bad or a bad thing, it's not a bad thing. もっとこうなんていうの南アフリカの本当のリアルな部分もっとおしゃれだったりとかそんな怖くないそういうところが彼らに伝わってるんじゃないかな。Started the project, it hasn't been easy, you know. If in simple words, I think this project has been like a, a boxing match, you know. When you go in, you don't know if this guy is gonna win or not, you know. And we take a lot of punches, and it's hard. But at the end of the day, you know, as much as we sweat trying to crack a simple idea to tell in this one visual, we get it, you know. Or we we leave that boxing match with victory. It's a sad, sad story. Been, been, been so far now. It's a sad, sad story.